Good morning from Mexico and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So a lot of you have asked for a video on a day in my life. So I thought that I would give you a day in my life. Now, our life is actually just pretty ordinary to be honest, but um, let's check it out. So don't forget that you can subscribe to all of my social media. It's in the description below. And also, uh, don't forget to subscribe here. Make sure that your notifications are turned on and I hope you guys enjoy the video. First things first is we're gonna brush our teeth. However, because we get water off of a water truck, um, well recently that's where we've been getting our water, and we don't exactly know where that water comes from, I use the water for drinking that we get. So it's in the gallons we use, Ipora. Let's go brush our teeth. Now let's get the baby so we can brush his. Okay. So for some reason, he gets a kick out of electric toothbrushes. This has a very, like an extra soft bristle on it, but I do use this because it just makes it easier to brush his teeth. You can see he gets pretty excited. He can't spit yet, so no judging on that, but uh, we're working on it. Right? Brushing your teeth? Ready? Here we go. Let me see. Ooh, good job. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> brushing, brushing, brushing our teeth. Brushing, brushing, brushing our teeth. You spit? Go. Good job. You tried, huh? You tried. Let me see your tongue go like this. Hey, go like this. Uh, uh, yeah, get in the tongue. Good job. Good job. You're a good toothbrusher. All right. All done. Let's rinse. Good job. Good job. All done. Let's see your clean teeth. Go cheese. Let's see. Good job. Let's go wipe your face off. Um, so we get up. It's gonna be a weird angle. Here, face. Wipe your face, wipe your face. Thank you. Now he's gonna go back to watching cars. He already had his milk for this morning and some pond for breakfast. I know, mommy's gonna go film. So we get up uh, around 6.30. And right now it's about seven. And Diego usually gets up uh, in about an hour. So he'll go through his morning routine and then he'll start his schoolwork. Um, <clears throat> for me though, I get up and the baby usually gets up with me um, <clears throat> when I'm not running late. <laughs> I get up and then we feed the dogs and the chickens and then we'll sit down and get to work. So let's feed the dogs and chickens. So I'm not gonna lie, every time that my kid, uh, that Diego or my husband feed or water chickens and dogs, I can never find the containers. First, look outside. Ha, and of course, it's outside. All right, we got our chicken feed. Let's feed these hungry chickens. Then it's on to dogs. Also, again, it's later in the week. We do clean their, Kapaline, stop. We do clean their um, cage on Fridays, but it gets so dirty in the meantime. Very impatient chickens. Come on, come on. Got an egg. All right, so we're gonna set our egg in here. Just gonna wash it off and put it in with the rest of them. Set that in the kitchen, come back for you. And I forgot my bucket again outside. I swear I'm a professional with this. Uh, so I had all these beautiful peeps. So hello. 
Hello, peeps. Just eating breakfast. Show you guys what Fidel's doing. Guess this. Is that See? He's moving water from one pinaco to the to the other one. Also, yes, we have a green light bulb. No big deal. They go we have a bomba, he just doesn't have the hoses for it. So we have a water pump now, but uh, we haven't gotten the hoses for it. So we're still doing it by by hand, but we'll get there. We'll get there. All right, so now that all of that is taken care of, we're gonna make some coffee so that Fidel and I can sit down and have some coffee together before we start our work days. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna make Fidel and I coffee. Now, Fidel likes uh, Nescafe and if you know what that is it's it's like an instant coffee but some di days he prefers to drink coffee how I drink coffee now um, I like it both ways but I do prefer this way and it took me quite a while to get one of these and so if anybody from Nescafe ever watches this I have a couple of suggestions but I'm still super grateful that I was able to find one okay let me show you how I make my coffee Okay guys, so here's my coffee maker. It's a Nescafe Dolce Gusto. Um, the water is in the back. It really is kind of like a Keurig. It comes with these like, things, like this. They come in all different flavors. Uh, you can even get Starbucks flavors in them, on and on and on. So, um, there are a couple of things. Now I couldn't find a, a Keurig, I'm gonna be honest. Um, doesn't mean I didn't look for one though. So I definitely looked for one and I'm a little disappointed that this didn't come with the reusable cup to put in it um, so that we didn't have to use the pods because they're, I know they're not environmentally friendly. So it's any consolation, I don't drink that much coffee. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> there are a couple things that I don't like. First off, it doesn't sit. My coffee cup never sits on the thing. Granted, it's a big coffee cup, but still it doesn't sit on the thing. Doesn't sit on the thing. So I don't know why this is here. Uh, <laughs> and um, you have to count the seconds because it doesn't count for you. You just flip the switch and then you have to count the seconds. And if you don't count correctly, then you get kind of like watered down coffee. So. Now my favorite one is the Americano coffee, Ooh, right there. Um, Fidel likes the vanilla macchiato, and I also put in um, this one, which is from Bear Cruz. So let's do this, let's make Fidel's. Now the vanilla. So I guess my questions for Nescafe are, do you have one with a timer on it so that I don't have to count? Do you have the reusable cup so that I can just buy the grounds and not these pods, which are not environmentally friendly? Um, and do you have one that holds more water? Because this one doesn't have to hold very much water. Okay. So now I have my coffee, my husband has his coffee and he's on the roof with the baby drinking his coffee. So we're not having coffee together this morning. There are a couple different things that I wanted to cover with you guys. So I'm going to film a little bit of my work but not really anything invasive, um, like I said, for privacy reasons. Um, but I will give you guys kind of an idea of how long I work um, and things like that. I'm also going to check into some emails and um, and emails, I'm sorry, emails from you guys because I try to stay, I try to get caught up on those super behind, but I do my best to get a couple answered a day because I get about 50 new messages um, each day across the social media platforms. So it's really hard to keep up. So if you have sent a message, but haven't sent it via an email, please send it via an email because that's the best way to get in contact with me. So let's do this. Also, unless I have big plans for the rest of the day, I don't get up early enough to take a shower. I'll usually take a shower after work or right before bed, um, just because I hate getting up early in the morning. I'm not gonna lie. So, I typically don't. So I start my morning off by reviewing some emails and I do have my laptop elevated 
just because it's easier. Um, and my mouse is dead, so we're not using the mouse today. Uh, it just needs new batteries. So, um, first thing I'm gonna do is go through emails um, and get an idea of what came in overnight and what needs to be taken care of today with my contracts. And then once emails are all sorted, <clears throat> I go in and I make my plan for the day, which if Keith ever watches this, you'll be very happy about. It's one of my contracts. And I make a plan that's shared so that anybody I'm working with on a contract uh, currently can see exactly how my day is laid out and um, so if they have any questions or anything like that, or if anybody has to jump in and pick up um, where I left off. And it looks like Diego is now up. So we'll be getting him going on school in just a little bit. All right, so work is going well. Now we're eating some lunch and this little guy is having Macaroni and cheese, eating it with a spoon and he's chilling by me because he is going through a phase where he hates his high chair. So this is what we're doing instead. Messy, but you only live once, right? Is that good? Is that good? Mm, mac and cheese. I almost got it in your nose. <laughs> This is what my day looks like. Okay guys, so I am all done with my work day and I'm going to jump in the shower and put some makeup on um, and then I'm going to get my house cleaned up and hopefully go out and film some more YouTube videos for you guys. So I'll take you uh, on that if we do. And um, then we'll have dinner and hang out with the family. Okay, so I successfully took a shower and I don't think that we're going out filming tonight. My husband went down to uh, take care of animals and get them fed. He took the boys with him, um, but I was still working and um, I just made a rookie mistake that I'm sure a lot of you can relate to, which is I was going to make spaghetti tonight and I forgot to take the hamburger out of the freezer. So we're gonna do that and hopefully we can get it thawed out in time to make spaghetti. We're gonna do our best. Let's get uh, frozen solid. Boo. Well, at least I don't have to put on makeup. <laughs> Does anybody else find random things in weird places like the cereal container in their bedroom? You gotta love living with boys. Now we have a garbage bag. So we're gonna do this garbage picked up. Because apparently my family doesn't know what a trash can is. Let's do this. This is what happens when you live with boys. Peanuts and Legos. Another random trash. What? <sighs> also toys. Did I mention toys? Toys are always everywhere. And this, I don't know why this is in here. This is to do laundry. <sighs> oh, do you guys remember this? Maybe someone will remember this. They sell these at the market. They have little beans or corn. This one's corn. Inside, and they have a string on them, and you can pull them. And they walk with you. They have vendors that walk around the plaza or, or the mercado and sell these. I also want you guys to know that I just found an avocado on my entertainment center. <laughs> but don't anybody look at this and think, my boys are just pigs, because they're not, they're just boys, they're busy. But also, I'll give you an example. My husband and I are definitely a 50-50 type of setup. What I mean by that is, today while he was home, and the baby was napping and I was working, but I'll did all the dishes. So, this is definitely a 50-50, is that what you refer to it? Or we both give 100%, I think is a better way to 
phrase that, but any way you phrase it, we both give 100%. So one of us doesn't do more than the other. And that's just how we work. All right, so I don't clean crazy clean, not crazy clean. Let's rephrase that. I don't deep clean my house every day, but there are a couple of things that I have to do every day in this particular house just because of the way that it's built. And one of those things is sweeping and mopping the floor. Because if you know anything about raw concrete, you know that it produces a lot of dust. And because we live in the Rancho, there's a lot of dirt. So, um, and because the concrete floors are so cold, we uh, wear shoes in the house. So that results in the need to clean the floors frequently. But Diego cleans his own room and because Fidel already took care of the kitchen, really I'm just tidying up the bedroom, the bathroom, and the living room area. And that's it, then I gotta make dinner. Okay, Fidel just got home, but I'm still getting some stuff cleaned up. So um, I'm gonna continue cleaning for just a little bit, then I'll take you guys outside. But I wanted to tell you guys how awesome my husband is and how much we actually think alike. So while my husband was feeding the animals, he realized that the hamburger wasn't moved out of the refrigerator or the freezer, sorry. So him and the boys, after they got done, ran to town and got some burritos so that I wouldn't have to worry about uh, cleaning tonight. Or I'm not, not cleaning, cooking. <laughs> it's been a long day. So now I have some extra time to hang out with the kids as soon as I'm done cleaning. So I'm gonna get the rest of this done and then I'll take you guys outside. All right, so my housework is done. We're gonna head outside and check out what uh, Fidel and the boys are doing. I don't know what you guys, your fireworks. That would split in half. <laughs> now we're getting ready to give the baby a bath and Diego will take a bath because these kids get filthy and we will continue our night. All right guys, excuse the lighting, but there you have it. The rest of the night is family time, so I'm not going to record that just because it's our family time and it's ours. So I hope that you'll understand, but that's what a typical day looks like for us. And there were a couple of things that I didn't include. Uh, Diego doing his schoolwork, that happens. Um, he usually gets done pretty quick because he, it's kind of self-paced. So he gets done with that pretty quickly. And then when he's done, he usually hangs out with his dad and his brother. For the most part, Fidel takes the baby with him to uh, work slow to feed the animals and out to the campo, um, which are the fields for those of you that don't know. Um, and if he's doing something where he can't tend to the baby, then he typically will just drop them off with one of his sisters or his mom. And so that's how our day goes. Pretty ordinary. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good day.